Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We're back on Monster Hunter World again. Today we're going to be doing another one of my guides, but this time going be, going to be for the new monster that just released, Behemoth, in Monster Hunter World. So let's get started. So first up, as a brief introduction, I'm going to be covering how to get this quest. To start, you must be HR 16 to start. Talk to the serious Hander Lady, and she will give you a quest called the Visitor of a New World, which is a Star Six quest. You'll basically be defeating a Kula Yaku, which is incredibly tall. Afterwards, report back to the Handler again, then she will be giving you a task called the Legendary Beast, which is a Star 9 and still HR 16. You have now finally met Behemoth, but now you have to repel him before he causes any damage to the surrounding area. After that's over, you'll be given another quest, and now you will officially be fighting and defeating Behemoth. Going over the physiology report, it says that Behemoth's head and tail are going to be his weak points, with his tail horn and legs being breakable and or severable. You want to be focusing mainly on the head, but if you're a sword user you can also be focusing on the tail and also doing just the right amount of damage for this fight. In terms of elements, he's most weakest to dragon with water and ice being the second most, and for elements it's 2 star all across the board, so personally just stick with a dragon weapon. For the loadout, I personally recommend a Temporal and a Vitality Mantle, no berries for when you get hit by the Thunderbolt move which we'll talk about in a bit, Mega Max and HM Potions as always with Demon Drugs and Armor Skins as well, and some Life Powder if you want to help out your teammates if you're playing in a group. But moving on, we finally have the moveset, and one of the greatest things about Behemoth is that the move he's doing appears on screen, which is super helpful for figuring out the move's names, and the first one is Meteor, and it's one of his most common and one of the simplest moves in his moveset. He will launch a Meteor at whoever is aggroed to, simply running in any direction will beat out the Meteor, but be wary, because this has happened to me multiple times where there's been two, three, or even four Meteors that come down from the sky. I'm not entirely sure if that's because nobody had the amenity on him, or we were just close to killing him. I have yet to test that out. The next move is called Charbidis, I believe, but it's basically the tornado. The, basically what this move is going to be is that he launches a tornado on your location that does tons of damage. A huge tip is if you are attracted to it, whether you're in a solo or in a group, drop whatever you're doing and go to the outskirts of the area, roughly around the walls of the area that you're in. Since the tornado will stay a while while fighting, it's best to keep it out of important areas around the area, like I said, around the walls. There's usually about three or four of these tornadoes in play at once, so definitely keep that in mind. So you can easily run away from this just like the meteor, but do not Superman dive because if you Superman dive once it officially releases, then you'll be caught in the wind and take some unnecessary damage. The next move is going to be his lunging attack. If you happen to be far away, he will lunge at you. If he jumps towards you, simply Superman dive in any direction and you will be safe. He also has a flop attack where he basically jumps on his hind legs and then just falls flat on the floor. Behemoth will sometimes do this when a player is underneath him and he will flatten them. Using the temporal mantle or running out of the area or superman jumping will do the trick, but be careful because if you're hit by this, you will be shaken from the tremors and you'll most likely be vulnerable to the next attack. Personally, I didn't do the testing, but I'm not entirely sure if tremor resistance does help with this, so let me know in the comments below if that does. Next move is also his tail swipe, and Behemoth will look to his right when he swipes his tail, but there's also a chance of a 360 spin as well, so superman diving will negate all of the damage possible for this move. Next up is the Thunderbolt move I talked about earlier. The lines of the Thunderbolt go forward and then diagonal, all going away from him as seen on screen now, dodging by either not being in the line of fire or, like I said, Superman jumping, which is obviously the safest move in the game, when the lightning appears on the ground and you'll safely negate all the damage. If you do happen to be hit by this, you will get the Thunder Blight, which is similar to what Kieran will give you. Easily chugging or eating a no... Easily eating a Null Bear will get rid of this effect, so do be aware, because if you're hit by the Thunderbolt again with the Thunder Blight, it's going to be doing lots of damage to you. Next up is going to be the Meteor line as I call it, and basically he casts a line of Meteors towards whoever the player he has aggro on. Superman jumping if in danger or running sideways from it will do the trick for this move just like always. And then the final move he has the Ecliptic Meteor or the huge insta-faint move that covers the entire area. The only way to dodge this move is to hide behind the Meteors he leaves behind. That's why in the tutorial they tell you not to get the smash because if he does this move and there's no Meteors left to hide behind, then you're basically dead. Find the red tornado that he forms right next to him and hide behind the meteor at the right angle so that the meteor is between you and the tornado and you will not die and take any damage from this move as shown in the clip on screen. Now, I've, I've heard a lot of people talk about that if guard up does help with this. I, can, I personally have not tested this out myself. I do not use weapons that have guard up or is useful for that. So if anybody has used guard up and has dodge, just let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know if that actually works. And then to add with some simple tips, make sure the tank of the group gains immunity and does not lose it or faint it, because then it will go away. Then Behemoth will cause all of his moves on him, allowing the other players to focus on his weak points and fight him without taking any repercussions of damage. Weapons with better defense capabilities gain immunity faster, such as charge, blade, charge blades and basically anything with a shield, which may include the shield mod on the heavy bowgun as well. 
Behemoth can be mounted as seen in the clip, and usually when you fight monsters, they can be mounted maybe two times throughout the fight, but we managed to mount Behemoth about five times throughout our entire 35 minutes. So I don't know if there's some type of timer or how this works, but maybe there is no type of repercussion or anything like that. So just go wild with the mounts if you can. And then lastly, there's also two big crystals and a huge crystal room that can fall and land on him that does some heavy damage. I don't know if they knock him out. I personally have not gotten able to knock him out from this, but it also does like 1700 damage, which is very critical to killing him way quicker. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the video today, guys. As always, if I did forget a tip or a strategy that you used during the fight and you wanted to let me know just in case I forgot it, let, let me know in the comments below so all fellow hunters can be caught up to date with what and how to fight Behemoth. And with that, like the video, if you do enjoy, subscribe if you're new. I cover the solo guides and most guides of monsters on Monster Hunter World, including this and then my past monsters like Lunastra, Nergigante, Diablos, Kulf Taroth, all those monsters I have guides for. So if you are interested and you are struggling with a few of those, then definitely consider checking out those videos. I also do the weekly event quest every week and then tell you guys if there's a new weapon, how to get that, and all that good stuff. So definitely consider subscribing if that sounds interesting. My two most recent videos will be on screen in a bit if you guys want to check that out. With that, guys, hope you have a great yesterday. Thank you for watching the video and peace out. Thank you.